stores across the area are jam packed, especially those grocery stores. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson shows us what shoppers are buying and how they're prepping. Mark, we've seen those long lines throughout the day, and now that it's after five, our meteorologists and city officials say it's not the time to be getting groceries. It's time to hunker down at home. Your preparation should be done. We've been warning about this for a week, and I can't emphasize enough how downhill it's going to go so quickly throughout the evening hours. The snow moves in, the temperatures drop at a rate we normally don't see here across central Indiana, and then visibilities will be reduced. There's so many issues. As treacherous conditions impact central Indiana, several people heeded to the warnings and flocked to grocery and department stores for last minute shopping. I heard the storm is coming, so I don't want to be out, and so I want to be done with it. What were you seeing inside? A bunch of people doing the same. <laughs> at what point did you say, oh, I need to go to the grocery store? Well, <laughs> yesterday, I was trying yesterday, but I stood in line for an hour and a half at Myers, so it was terrible. So I said I'd get out earlier. Power outages, ice, and sub-zero wind chills are concerning for Amy Kincaid. What have you done to prepare for this? Groceries. We went and bought the generators in case we run out of electricity. We've got gas, everything ready to go in case we lose power tonight. WRTV meteorologist Todd Clausen stresses the importance of staying inside. Frostbite on exposed skin probably in about 15 to 25 minutes. So it's a very short period of time that you could really get into some very, very dangerous uh, medical issues. While officials urge you to avoid getting out, DoorDash says it's working with local authorities and will later determine if it needs to suspend local operations. Instacart says, quote, the safety of its shopper and customer communities are a top priority. It's actively monitoring the winter storm and will notify customers and shoppers of adjustments. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV.